It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this is Ketchup Packets. Today we're back with more Andor. We're watching Season 1, Episode 10, called One Way Out. So, I'm pretty sure I know what that's going to be all about. Yeah, I think they're getting out, they're breaking out of prison. That's right, because they've discovered that they're in forever prison. Yes, and so, there is only one way out, is what we learned last time. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, so they, when when Cassian was flying in a couple episodes ago, we saw like the one facility and then there was like a bunch of other ones and it was mm -hmm. an ocean or whatever. So I think what they're trying to do is they swip, swap them around between those prisons, but mm -hmm. then like somebody got released last time and then brought back into the same building. I see. And that's how we're, and like people believed them because you know, you could say that when you go to another one. Yeah, I was just over there. But everyone's like, oh, whatever, you know, but like yeah. people recognized this guy, so we're like, oh shit, you were just here. And so yeah. that's why it was bad. And they got, you know, mm -hmm. had to put everyone it's, down. It's a bad mistake. Somebody got fired Yeah, for that. For I sure. think so. Yeah. And now they're going to use it as their opportunity to try and but Kino Loy said never more than 12 when they said how many guards are on each floor, mm -hmm. you know, so that's, that's, that's what they right. have to work with. Yep, yep. That seems like odds they can make work. <sighs> but I mean, the whole floor could be electrified. I guess they need they need to get the boots. They mm -hmm. need their hands on right. some boots. They are also talking last time about how nothing that moves is wired. So like the elevators are good and stuff like that. And like there, mm. are, there are portions of the floor that they've been scoping out. So we'll see what goes on with that. Is wired. I miss that. So does that mean there's no like surveillance? Like is there's no electricity in those parts. So like the oh. elevator, like the lift that brings prisoners down mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like there's nothing on that. I think they were saying. So oh, I don't know, okay. but I think they were scoping out oh, for little, Got it. little spot, little gaps mm -hmm. in the system that they can try to take advantage of. You know? Yeah. Seems so they like got that. A long shot. Kind of like the heist, mm -hmm. like a very long shot, and we'll but see if it, it actually works out, yeah. And then Cyril is uh, trying to get himself in with, with Deborah, you know, mm -hmm. trying to show her that he's a young upstart, so yeah, we got yep. we got that to see as well. And Bix got tortured. Yeah, ooh, screaming yeah. aliens. Yes, that's very bad. So, should we just check all that out? Yeah, Dive yeah, into let's some. Do I think it. this is going to be I'm an exciting ready. one. Yeah, for yeah. real. There's been a lot of lead up to mm -hmm. this. So, let's, yes. let's, let's get into it. All right. We have a Patreon. The link's down there. There's full length reactions. They're ahead of the YouTube versions and movie polls. So, check that out if you want to. Check it out. Otherwise, let's watch some Star Wars. Hover Gertie? Yeah. Seems like quite a somber way to do this. Yeah, right bring him through this way in front of everybody. Seems kind of unnecessary. We need to go tomorrow. Tomorrow. You heard me? Kino's full of rage now. Anyway, yeah, he's pissed. It has to be tomorrow. Tomorrow. We can't wait. We'll never have a better chance. He's not arguing with you. You sound insane. No, listen. Oh, maybe he is. Right now, they're afraid. Afraid? Afraid of what? They just killed a hundred men to keep them quiet. And they could kill all of us, yep. I think, is what he's really thinking. Quick. Whatever we're making here is clearly something they need. They can't afford to be surprised again. They'll never be less guards than tomorrow. You know yeah. that! This is extremely we risky, man. It is, but... I see what Cassian's saying, though. We have a plan! Mm -hmm. Oh, are you, you? And Burlock and Melsey! You don't have time to be stupid! Come on! Plan works it's like the they killed a hundred guys on the other floor because they know that news will ignite the whole place. Yep. And so if you use that news right now, they don't have time to get on top of it. Yep. Trying to take them down, then die giving them what they want. want right. I mean, the alternative is just be in here forever until you die. Mm -hmm. You know, I might be just be like, all right, I'm gonna risk our lives. Might be worth it if we can get the hell out of here. Why? Tell him! He's had his fault! What? A doctor came out. He said they'd made a mistake and sent back a man who'd just been released. They fried two shifts to keep it quiet. You heard him say this. How do you even know that? God. He knows, like, he can't just yeah. tell everyone, yeah. but it's too late now. No one is getting out! He knows something else, too, I think. Hmm. I mean, that's. He just told them all what they need to hear. Now they're gonna fight. They're not letting us go. We're gonna die here. Or in the next place. Or we're going to. 
escape. So let's get our heads back in our cells and start figuring this out. There we go. It's almost like a system where you tie. They're asking for a landing bay. They found it. They're towing it in, sir. Pilot dead, ship adrift, port of origin unknown. Tie imprisonment to, to labor, you know, mm -hmm. cheap labor. Yeah. It incentivizes this type of shit. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we should step away. Go on. We should do what we normally do. Unidentified ship, dead pilot. We'd want to take a look, wouldn't we? Let's assume Krieger's watching. The least suspicious thing that we could do would be to take an interest. So they're setting a trap for a known rebel leader, right? Mm-hmm. There is only one way out. But I'm gonna assume I'm already dead. And take it from there. There's no sense in warning the night shift. They'll hear about it one way or another soon enough. Let's make it look good. Ooh. Yeah, it's gotta be hard to find your moment, though, in a place like this. Right. It's kind of designed to never allow for the moment. Mm-hmm. How many people did they say were in here? They said... I don't remember. 5,000 5, something like that. It's a very large number, yeah. What are they making, though? It's gotta be at, -AT feet. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta seem like that, but... It's a lot of at, -AT feet. I guess they probably have a lot of at -AT You know how many planets there are in yeah, a galaxy? right, that's true. Seven, I think, right? At Ish. least twice that many. <laughs> she needs her meds, she knows it. But we caught her hiding them now, and when I asked her what she thought she was up to, she said your pills were putting her off her food, and she'd rather keep eating than let you pretend you were not Okay. Mm -hmm. Has it changed much? I can't tell. Didn't pay enough attention. Suppose <laughs> I thought I'd be coming back regularly. It's state property. Oh, these Coruscant types are all excruciating. Yes, they are. <laughs> Insufferable. I like when things are clear. But then I always get to thinking, what's around the corner? Your curiosity is clearly been profitable. Oh, is this the thuggish banker she didn't want to meet with? Mm -hmm. I think so. I'm sure. Searching for a more fluid banking situation, are we? We've discussed all this, Dabba. I'd like to hear her say it. Why? You wearing a wire? Yeah. Yes. You setting me up? <laughs> We've reached a scale in our holdings that permits a great variety of transactions to be bundled in ways that make outside observation impossible. Yes, I've been mm -hmm. Family wealth is a thing to be proud of, and you ought to be able to move it as you like with your privacy intact. <laughs> good justification, man. He's good at That's right. doing this. Yeah. I'd prefer not to owe any favors. I'd feel far more comfortable paying you for your trouble. A drop of discomfort may be the price of doing business. Well, it's going to make you an offer you can't refuse at some point. It would make me uncomfortable, too. I might just be like, yeah, okay, I don't think we're going to do this, man. Yeah. But she doesn't have a choice. Right. I have a 14-year-old son. I'd like to bring him with me. You can't be serious. I I'm not asking for betrothal. Then what are we talking about? An introduction. What makes you think I approve of that tradition? Our position sometimes makes decisions for us, don't you find? Mm -hmm. Is that your only offer? I'm trying to decide how sleazy that is. I think at this echelon... It's all sleazy all the time. I, I guess, yes. Yeah. That's a lot to think about. I'm not thinking about it. Okay. The first untrue thing you've said. It's been a pleasure. Okay, huh. then. Do you think that there was another implication in there, or do you think he was actually just saying, like, no, this is not of me. I See, think he like wants children. his son to marry her daughter. That's right, the, right. That's the, ex of course, the yeah. expectation. But he said no betrothal, so. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, right. It's lazy. I don't like it. Not now, I don't like the timing. You don't like anything. At the very least, you need to let me go. Take the phone, we'll get something safe, and let me take care of it. You know, that's not happening. Stop wasting time. I think she's right, and Luthen is going to be trapped. Yep. For sure. He's still on board. I want out. Don't care. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm dead. Hey, hey, we're dead. Don't You're die. all dead either way. I'll fight. 
If they get wind that word of this is getting out, they might just kill you all tomorrow anyway. Right, exactly. Like, you really don't know how much time you have. There is a 100% chance of you never getting out of here if you don't try. Mm -hmm. And there is a maybe 1% chance of you getting out if you do. So, I would take the 1%. I can understand the implicate the the impulse to bide your time until tomorrow. You though. mean to continue living for yes, sure exactly, at least right, we'll yeah. at least be alive. until the next day. Yeah, exactly. What is he doing with this? I don't get this either. Is this like something they'll have to respond to? Yeah, I think it's a distraction. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, it's like a water requesting units override. Thing. Was it looking out there? Which I'd be afraid to break with an electrified floor. Right? Yeah, but it's, it's something they'll have to scramble to fix. Yeah. It's gonna make them frazzled. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. There we go, there we go. It's gushing, that's all you need. Yep. There you go, man. Put some torque into it. He's soaked. Oh yeah. no. Dead giveaway. This is real. I was working really hard. I'm real sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a good bludgeon too. That's a that's a solid one. Hold your positions. Oh, new guy. You don't even know what you just stumbled into. Engaged. Love that you can see a lot of different prisoners sort of having a lot of different dispositions towards this. Though mm -hmm. some are excited, some are nervous. Now, wouldn't they just turn the floor on? I don't need to zap everybody. Yeah, I guess they want to avoid yeah. doing that if they don't have to. It incapacitates people, I think. A yeah. bit, so. They got ATAT -AT feet to build. No! Stop the elevator. Oh, yep. Whoa. Cool. You gotta get those weapons out of that poor Just dude. Zap, zap the new guy. There we go. Nice! There you go. New guy knows what's up. Oh shit, he's got a blaster. Okay, the rifle is top priority. Yep. If they can get a blaster, that's it. Well, or at least we stop that go. guy from having it. Mm hmm. Oh, oh no! Yeah, I mean the yeah. blaster's a that's exactly. A, it's a big deal. How many? Is it just one or two? It's two. And the guy standing, just sitting at the desk. I don't think he, you can get that guy off his ass for one second <laughs> yeah. for any reason. Oh no! Oh, how many people? No. Oh, it's shorted because yep. of the water. Gotcha. So now they have nothing. Mm-hmm. Oh. <gasps> That's <laughs> oh. the look. Yeah. I can see some golem in his face right yeah. there. That guy's like, oh shit, if they come through that yeah. door, they're <laughs> ripping me apart. But of course, he's still sitting there. Yeah, this is not a good situation, though. They still need to get... It's still just a shooting gallery, out. yeah. There we go, yeah, just knock him over. Blaster. It's a blaster. There we go. Keep shooting. Kill that guy, yeah. In this situation, that's... Uh, yeah, those you gotta mistakes. kill him, yep, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, boom. That's maybe the first couple blaster shots I've ever seen in a Star Wars thing ever <laughs> that haven't killed the first shot. I always thought that that was sort of a function of them, like one shot. You're. you're yeah, I think it's just deal. like a bullet strike, and they move slower than bullets. Yeah. Ho oh, ho! Oh. They got themselves to an armory. See, those guys instantly died. Well, they shot them in the chest. I think a yes. center of mass yeah. shot will do it. I've got service warnings on every panel. Get over there and check it out now. Get off that to now! Yeah, you just go ahead and you just keep sitting at the desk, man. Okay, but so they, like, Cassian got dropped off by a vehicle that then turned around and left. Like, are mm -hmm. there even any vehicles in this place that you can take to get away, or are you just strand them once you take control? 
Yeah. Then they just don't send anything I think back. You take the prison first and deal with that afterwards. Because you got all these guards. If you can get all the guards like hostage, there's you know you have some collateral. Right, but if they send, just don't send back a vehicle, then oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, they might end up starving there or whatever, but at least they won't have to uh, they, build they stupid They would ATAT. nuke it from orbit. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, yeah, how you got these guys? It's like in the middle of the ocean, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a giant ocean planet, basically. Mm-hmm. Not completely. I mean, we know there is Just some more land. prisons. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. This would be quite the thing to see as a prisoner who wasn't quite... <laughs> privy to all this information. Yeah, oh, like, oh, there's a firefight yep. going on. Oh, there's, there's a there's prison a, break there's, happening. There's a prisoner with a with a blaster up there. Hey, hey, guys. Fun day, huh? Jeez. Nice. Don't shoot each other. That would be bad. How long does it take to track down a water break? Ten to wait for the floor to secure. Isolate five. Locked in. Yeah, they have no cameras. It's yeah. just like yeah. a thing that's not part of their. Too late. There's nobody there. You shouldn't be here. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. all you got. Yeah. Turn it off. That could mean so many things. I'll turn off. Step away. Yeah. Yeah. They just have they no have... concept that somebody could stand up to them. You know. Right. Yeah. Do it. They also, I mean, they do have, looks like the, the the screen behind that guy is kind of tracking the movement of all the prisoners, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's not a camera. It's like every three seconds or something, it gets like a little update. Shut down all the power. <laughs> so now every inmate knows. With him. Yeah, they're Move. really staffed with a skeleton crew here, aren't they? Yeah. They have an oppressive floor. They don't need a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I feel like this is kind of how the staffing is in some prisons, too. It's just sort of like we have few guards, but we have a lot of really oppressive systems that we can use to, like, prevent people from doing bad stuff. Yeah. Come on, Kino. You do this every day. Tell them what to do. And he's like, oh, man. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. My name is Kino Lloyd. I'm the day shift manager on level five. He's got a cool voice. We are at this moment in control of the facility. Is that the best you got? You're sticking with facts. Mm -hmm. All the floors are cold. Brave, Brave guy. Yeah. Right now. Get up. It seems like the Get out of your the microphone or like the, the PA system makes his voice deeper. It does, yeah. Yeah, so it's an interesting tactic too for like whoever's talking on the PA is like mm -hmm. sound big and deep voiced. Right. When they say we are being released, we are being transferred to some other prison to go and die. And that ends today he's inspiring himself yep. in addition to everyone else you see someone who's confused someone who's lost you get them moving and you keep them moving until we put this place behind us They're nice behind yep us. i'm just worried about a vehicle right Half is hard. certainly not one big enough for everybody no way no yeah they're scared they're like oh, no they're so outnumbered I'm saying one way out. Oh, the, it's not that far. They're just jumping? There's, How far is land? It looks like there is... There is land over there. Is that Everyone land? seems to think that's the move. We can't swim. I was wondering what his, like, apprehension was this whole time to just, like... He seemed so, like... I mean, even to, like, make the speech and stuff, he was... He's like, I well, have to stay, I can't swim. This is a, swim. a big choice, and it's very, it's a lot of responsibility. Even yeah. Though, like, everything was still moving along, though. He was still like, I don't know, man. 
Where now he gets the bags and he can't leave. Yeah. He, he's gonna get. He's gonna get deaded quick. We'll see. Interesting. Spend some time with this guy. You think he's undercover? Well, I don't know, because he was part of like they were trying to set that trap for the one rebel mm -hmm. guy, and this could be part of that. But no, oh, yeah, maybe he's yeah. pretending not to be an imperial officer. I was thinking the opposite. We'll have privacy. He's part of the resistance. Oh! First of all, congratulations. On what? Your daughter, healthy, beautiful. You must be pleased. Oh, so maybe he's being blackmailed to help the resistance. Oh, like maybe yeah. he's Luthen is. You, knowing, watching me. Do you ever think how it might feel from my side? Yeah. She started. Looking into stolen Imperial naval equipment, and now she's looking for a link to Aldani. Dead Ramiro. Well, this is useful for Luthen to have. Mm hmm. Oh, this is good. Encourage this. Why is this good? Because she's wasting time. Hmm. She seems like she's on the right track to me. We know that there's a raid planned on the power station at Spellhouse if Krieger attacks. They'll be waiting. And if he doesn't, they'll know something's amiss. They'll be slaughtered. It's 50 men. Oh, Luthen is oh, so cavalier yeah. with other people's lives. What better way to reassure the ISB that there's no leak in security than sacrificing Krieger? I'm doing this for you. Uh -huh. I hope that's just what he's telling him. And well, not actually I mean, what his plan is. Saul Guerrero didn't like Anton Krieger very much. Maybe it's an expendable rebel faction to be able to yeah. make the Imperials thing. I mean, you can't let them know you're you're yeah. fighting them until the right time. It's I can't do this anymore. I'm a father now. I had no idea how it would feel. We took a vow. Okay, so maybe he has been willingly helping, but like it's getting difficult. Yeah, it's getting too hot yeah. now. He's. We can't let you go, Lonnie. We can't spare you. We've been grooming you for too long, and yes, you've been alone. Your career has profited greatly from information. This feels like it's a blood in, blood out kind of organization. He's terrible, man. You're trapped, Lonnie. <laughs> There's no pleasure in saying it, but you're going nowhere. That's not how you. Sacrifice. Mm. It's not really loyalty, if it's fear. We need heroes, Lonnie, and here you are. <laughs> and what do you sacrifice? Yeah. Love. I've given up all chance at inner peace. I made my mind a sunless space. Yeah. It's, I, it's not good enough, man. I share my dreams with you. You do so willingly. Right, but... You could I disappear any second. I'm damned for what I do. My anger, my ego, my unwillingness to heal, my my eagerness to fight. Oh, well, poor you, set man. Set down a path from which there's no oh. escape. I don't think he's feeling bad for himself, but he's <laughs> saying justice without contemplating the cost. And by the time I look down, <laughs> there's no longer any ground beneath my feet. What is my what is my sacrifice? He's saying it takes monstrous actions to fight to an enemy this powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, he's kind of right. I burn my decency for someone else's future. I burn my life make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. But he doesn't get his hands he dirty very often either. Just... We've seen very little of what he's actually done. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. So what do I sacrifice? Everything! Mmm. I'm just not... <sighs> You'll stay with not convinced. <laughs> I like that... the heroes I can get. This show's going into much more shades of gray for Star Wars mm -hmm. than I've ever seen before, though. Yeah, like, this is the Rebels! He's the good yeah. guys, and then it's very hard to sympathize with his reasoning, you know? I thought they were in much more yeah, remote water than that. Like more remote water would have been a better plan for the position of the prison. Just one more layer of hopelessness, and you yeah. put it right out in the middle of the, like, middle of the ocean. Oh. You're good to go. All right. That's it. Okay. Well, they're, they're on land. land. They're running yeah. away. 
And he's with one other inmate, you know? Yeah. So he's got somebody. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I like the I like the whole jailbreak thing. That was that was worth the the lead up. Definitely. You know, set and us all up. I really am liking that little twist at the end there of Lonnie, was he calling that mm -hmm. guy? Or yeah, yep. that we've seen him in all those Imperial planning meetings the whole season and he turns yeah. out to have been a spy. I like that. It's, yeah This is cool Build up stuff about how you know the ins and outs of the rebellion. It's easy to To see it in the movies and just be like Luke Skywalker is is the rebellion and everything yeah. is the organization That's supporting him, but like he comes into an existing thing. So yeah. it's cool to to think about and to show the details of like what is this stuff that's already ongoing by the time Luke Skywalker enters yeah, the scene. You that's know? very interesting. Yeah, he he's the one who shot the missiles that blew up the Death Star. But mm -hmm. the amount of planning and sacrifice made by tons of people before he even ever came into the picture is like very interesting to see. Yeah. And you know, I've struggled with Luthen as a character this entire time, and I'm glad mm -hmm. that they finally kind of showed the darkness in him. I mean, you know yeah, I mean? that's always been implied if you think about it, but yeah, right. now they actually yeah. had a scene of him having to tell some, you know, somebody being like, look, I want to stop doing this, and he'd be like, no, you're a rebel yeah. because I say you are. Mm -hmm. and, I'll, and just his admittance that, like, yeah, I've, like, what have I sacrificed? You know, which is still kind of not really good enough for me, but he's like, my humanity, mm -hmm. basically. Like, his willingness to throw 50... 50 human lives at this problem in order to just make sure that the Empire doesn't suspect that they found out somehow about Next, You yeah. know like you know like he's just like well, okay So he's, he's like 50 men will die and it's like well then I guess they kind of have to because to not the attack, alternative yeah. is not acceptable Yeah, yeah, right and right. it's like I thought you know he he the way he sort of He threw Cassian into the into the uh, the heist situation kind of without he was just like figure it out you yeah, know, like, and I think he was also casually talking afterwards about needing to kill him because he's a loose end if he can mm -hmm. identify him, you know? Yeah, he's yeah. he's he is a bad person in terms of like his his but, he's, a, but he's on the good guys, right? So, yeah. his, but it's it's the ends justify the means mentality that I'm always kind of like well, so revolutions are often like this there's there's if you're gonna try and topple a giant tyrannical fascist all controlling like system, system. Yeah. yeah yeah there's always going to be bloodshed there's always going to be sacrifices made there's going to be people at the top who need to be like ah, yeah, yeah. You but, know? but then with that in mind it becomes so much harder to ever really know if you're doing that stuff for the good <laughs> side or the bad side or you know it's like how cuz yeah you just yeah i mean you said that you've seen serenity a long time ago right mm -hmm, a long time ago there's yeah. a conversation in that movie where the hero is saying to the bad guy so we all got to lay down and die so you can live in your better world and the mm -hmm. bad guy says i'm not going to live there there's no place for me there right what i do is evil i have no illusions about it but it must be done you yeah know? And right it's like, right that's but that's the bad guy in that movie and that's kind of what luthan was saying mm -hmm. here you know he's like that he's engaged in monstrous behavior because he knows that the end he's working for is just yeah and what did he say he was like i i sacrificed like my basically in, in fewer words maybe I, I sacrificed my humanity so that someone else's future can be better mm -hmm. you know and yeah. he so he understands that like if the rebellion ends up succeeding my place in this you in this galaxy is done like mm -hmm. i don't really have like the, no one's gonna put him on a pedestal at the end of this they're gonna be like yeah he's kind of a bloodthirsty monster he did yeah. what he needed to do but that doesn't mean he's a good person that's part of uh the the paradigm in the new star wars movies that ha that was a little bit unsatisfying is that it's more or less still just kind of the same dynamic when we jump in in episode seven except instead of the rebels and the empire it's the resistance and the first order but it's mm -hmm. like still there's the bad guys with the star destroyers and then the plucky go-getters sure. that are trying to stop them and mm -hmm. so it kind of invalidated all the rebellions like gained ground from the original trilogy you know it's like they beat yeah. vader and they beat the empire and there's that whole celebration of the end of return of the jedi and then the force awakens comes around and it's like okay but this we're still doing this you know all right so it's i think you know what the time jump is it's like 30 years because oh, i mean it's real time for mark hamill and harrison oh, okay. ford and carrie fisher you know? oh so yeah, yeah how right. later that was because they're still in this in the movies but yeah so i think that you know all this stuff is so good in building in like the 
it's for the greater accomplishment that they're building towards down the road, but then the later movies kind of undercut that same accomplishment that this show is kind of, you know, girding and, and yeah. supporting. So it's, yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be a negative, per, you know, I'm not trying to do any naysaying or anything like that. Just yeah. talking about my knowledge, mm -hmm. our limited knowledge of the greater Star Wars yeah. mythos, you know? It seems it's it would be frustrating after all that effort and all those sacrifices made and all this time spent and how many lives were were trashed by the initial like resistance and then it succeeded and then 30 years later it's just kind of right back to where we were at mm -hmm. it's a bummer well yeah and it's, i don't know yeah we can we could get yeah. into talking about that stuff but we should stick with the show um so kino lloyd did not get away if he can't swim right like did he stay on I've, the prison i is he still at narkina 5 i hope he got out because he well, well how would they do that though like i mean so yeah so you breathe in deep and you flip around on your back and somebody else drags you. That's the only way. <laughs> if you can't swim, I, th I know you can they, hold your breath they seem at least. to be relatively close to shore, I guess, but I don't think they were quite close enough to do no, that. No, I don't think so either. And that's why it sucks, man. It's like you should have just said something sooner so I didn't make you like the face and the voice of this thing if you're going to be the one guy who can't get off. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, like, I don't know that that is. I mean, clearly they all still jumped in the water and swam for it, so. Yeah. I feel, yeah, it's remarkable that a facility set up like that, and even set up in that location, didn't have any one less thing where, like, there's, yeah. a, there's a net you can't swim out of or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, some, it's like something anything. on the outside just to prevent exactly what happened, but I guess, I don't know, the Empire's hubris is part of yes. what we're seeing in this show, is all the stuff about their inability to fathom that somebody might get around their system. That know? actually seems to be kind of a a theme always with when you're talking about the Empire and the Star Wars universe is that they would build a giant moon-sized space station that can destroy entire planets but then also have a little shaft that goes right down into the core where if you shoot a missile down there it literally blows up the entire thing completely. Okay, well they always leave it's almost like there's it's one element from Rogue One that I do remember is that you learn that one of the Death Star designers is secretly anti-Empire and Oh. Builds that feature into it, so it can as a vulner intentionally as a vulnerability. It's put there, you know. It's so. I sort of always liked the idea that that was an expression again of their hubris. Like, I see. like we can put this here and not really need to worry about it because no one will ever try to destroy this thing. Like it never, <laughs> it will never right. happen. Yeah, I, I, I like that version of it too, but yeah. I'm pretty sure, and I could be wrong about this, I don't remember Rogue One very well at all, but I'm pretty sure that a piece of it was that that Death Star flaw is there intentionally. And that like, that's part of why they feel like they need to steal the Death Star plans because they know that that piece of information, mm -hmm. like that if we had oh. the plans, it is possible to blow it up. So, oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, that that's fine too in terms of like a story beat, but I, I like, I've just always liked that. Like they feel that part of their weakness mm -hmm. and their re is because they leave vulnerabilities because they literally believe that nobody would ever right. to like deign to try. And it's interesting too with the full Star Wars narrative that we have that the Empire already operates that way in what seems to only be like a few decades of rule, you mm -hmm. know? Like, it feels like for the Empire to kind of calcify into that mindset that it should be in power for hundreds or thousands of years already. Yeah, right? that's It's like true. nobody would ever do anything, but it feels like they just very quickly, like, I don't, it's always, the timeline, especially on like the Jedi vanishing and stuff like that has always been a little bit strange to me because it's like Anakin was a young man and the Jedi Council was still like active and in power and mm -hmm. everybody knew them and now Darth Vader is like middle-aged so it's only been again like a few decades yeah. and everyone is already like talking about the force like it it doesn't even maybe exist yeah, and right. stuff. That and is I don't some know, this old should... magic. Yeah, some yeah. Weird... Like, yeah. I just don't like... know that there was quite enough time for everyone to forget but yeah. I guess with the distances they're dealing with maybe that works differently. I, so. I, I just also think that the the rules within the Star Wars universe are different mm -hmm. than ours. I believe, yeah. I don't, I'm not sitting here believing that no one in the entire galaxy ever thought of like security cameras. Like, yeah, ever, yeah. but it's they were just, just like, no, we just can't. It's just not a, not a thing. The yeah. physics of it don't work the same. Or like, you know, it's like ballistics are a really, really effective way to like 
kill things. You can blow holes through things instead mm -hmm. of having your lasers bounce off. But it's just kind of like maybe ballistics just aren't really a yeah, thing that works. Well, yeah, you know it's not I mean? even the same galaxy as us, right? Yeah. Right. So you can any little tweak you need to make yeah. to make it make sense is fine. Yeah, we're not trying to be like no, to not nitpick it or whatever. It's just the things that occur to you while you're watching yeah. it naturally. You I know, mean, those kind of questions of even of the this aesthetic or that. of the you know. Like they don't seem to have video recordings of anything. No, you know it's like and it's I, you just come to accept that as being like in this universe maybe there are things that work differently than the way right. that they work in our. It goes universe. along with the no zippers rule, you know. It's yeah, just something right. they don't have. Yeah, yeah, they just don't. And I'm sure somebody ever thought of it, but they're like, nope, we tried it, can't make a <laughs> zipper, can't do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, just doesn't function yep. in their world. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, well, so where does Cassian go now? We've got like a fuck, few episodes yeah. left, and uh, it, uh, everything still seems very scattered to the winds. We've got to yeah. coalesce all the storylines for the wrap up of the season here. He is still not even like in the resistance yet at all. He, <laughs> right, he, he but I think Kino Loy, Kino Loy was very inspirational there about standing up to the bad guys and stuff. Yeah. I think that having known him and having done the prison break is going to be another brick in the wall of Cassian's rebel nature. He's gonna know? have to be picked up and resourced, though, in some capacity quick here. Yeah. Because he's just, what are they, just in the desert running barefoot? Yes, they are. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll sprint to yeah, the finish of the we'll season. See. Maybe it's gonna be action-packed from mm -hmm. here on out, I would hope. I'd Maybe we'll get another build-up episode or something, but I think there's only two left, so mm -hmm. not really time for that. We no, just kinda right. gotta go. Yeah. So that about that about do it for this I week think then. So for me, man, for okay. sure. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. That was an exciting episode. Uh, until next time, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. This is Ketchup Packets. See you later.